Welcome to the Monday Mycotoxin and Crop Report for November 14th, brought to you by Neogen, a world leader in food and animal safety solutions. This week's headlines. Needed rainfall in the southeast. Widespread warm temperatures. New mycotoxin reports. The USDA's November 8th bulletin reports a continued trend of much needed rainfall from the Gulf Coast to the Mississippi Valley and as far north as the Great Lakes states. Most of the precipitation benefited topsoil conditions in those regions, while some of the runoff contributed to a modest rise in water levels in the Mississippi Basin. Portions of the West Coast also saw precipitation, but cooler temperatures there contributed to slower winter wheat growth. Warmer than average temperatures dominated from the east coast to the western corn belt, and regions that avoided rain systems saw a jump in fieldwork and harvesting of summer crops. Fall wheat planting continues. Winter wheat is 92% planted, two points above the five year average. 73% of winter wheat has emerged, one point behind last year. 30% is in good to excellent condition, 15 points behind last year. Corn harvest advances with favorable conditions. 87% of corn is harvested, 9 points above the 5-year average. We have reports of Don in wheat in the following states. We have reports of aflatoxin in corn in the following states. We have reports of Don in corn in the following states. We have reports of fumonacin in corn in the following states. We have reports of xarelinone in corn in the following states. We have reports of T2-HT2 in corn in the following states. Thank you for viewing our Monday Mycotoxin and Crop Report. We appreciate your feedback and being part of our Mycotoxin Reporting Network. Feel free to contact us with questions or comments and sign up for our reports via the link in the description below. Have a safe and productive harvest season.